I commit this venture to the Imperium of Shin. I commit this venture to the Radiant Empress Dowager. I commit this venture to... Well, perhaps I can come back later to complete the 88 honorific hailings. At this moment, it's hard to think of anything except that today, I, Chen Peacebrout, sail into the city of Pearl. As a shy person, as a modest person, I struggled with how, how do I show enthusiasm without being boastful? The city that looks as if it were made of milky porcelain. And what I figured out is I don't show enthusiasm about myself. I show enthusiasm about the book. The city that looks as if it were poured, not built. And then it becomes a graceful way to show the joy that I feel so strongly about what I'm doing without it being about me. If I learn just one thing, then the year has not been wasted. Entertainment value matters. When I was querying, an, an agent said to me something um, quite frightening. He said, at this point, if you're trying to publish a book in, in uh, children's literature, you have to make this book better than any video game, than any movie, than any other activity that these kids could be doing right now. You're competing with all of that. If I kept just one friend, then the year has not been wasted. And he also said, if you're writing an adult book, you've got to make this book, you've got to make them want to read this book more than they want to have sex, or eat their favorite food, or drink their favorite drink. That's a very high bar. <laughs> um, and it's not necessarily applicable to all books, and I think that this is a, a, an amount of hyperbole on the agent's part. But I remembered that. And I shot for that, I, I shot for that level of entertainment value, not in the book itself, because there are contemplative, uh, there are contemplative passages in all good books. It's not all, like Jane Austen said, all plot and no reflection. But I knew that this is not the book. This is a trailer for the book. I am doing a movie trailer for the book, live and in full 3D um, for these kids. And so I, I don't just read from the first word of the chapter to the end of the chapter. I very, very select. If you look at the book, it's all marked up. And there are actually, it's like a choose your own adventure. There are parts where I've got arrows saying, okay, if you see the kids not, they didn't laugh at this joke, skip to this part with a big, big arrow drawn. And that's, it's hard to, to, to switch tracks on the fly, but if you practice it enough, it is good because then suddenly you're doing what good actors and musicians do. You are reading the crowd and you are, you are playing back to the crowd. Uh, and that's important to do to keep them engaged. Uh, I think that many, I think that ma many authors neglect that aspect of it, the, the performative aspect of the reading. People love it when you get when you get in character, and people love it when you. When, when, when your performance is conveying the emotions of the characters. So you don't have to have all of this um, physicality to it, but I think that the, I think that keeping in mind the emotions that the characters are going through, conveying that in your performance, and conveying it all with a high level of enthusiasm makes for a memorable presentation. May we meet.